Windows 11 users, brace yourselves, because Microsoft has officially entered the final phase of rolling out version 24H2. And whether you like it or not, this update is now coming for your PC automatically. Yes, that's right. If you've been holding off on installing the 2024 update due to its known issues, bugs, or system stability concerns, your days of waiting are numbered, as Microsoft just confirmed that all eligible devices will now receive this update without requiring manual user consent, marking a major shift in how updates are being pushed across the Windows ecosystem. As reported by Windows Latest and confirmed on Microsoft's Windows 11 version 24H2 known issues and notifications page, this automatic rollout targets individual users running home and pro editions of Windows 11 versions 23H2, 22H2, and even 21H2, unless, of course, you're part of an enterprise or managed IT organization or your system is temporarily blocked due to known compatibility issues. But for the rest of us, there's almost no escape. Microsoft plainly states, Devices running home and pro editions of Windows 11 that are not managed by IT departments will receive the update to version 24H2 automatically, adding that while users may choose when to restart or pause updates for one to five weeks, that grace period doesn't stop the inevitable from happening. And sure, under advanced options in Windows Update, you can set active hours so your PC doesn't reboot mid-project or pause the update to buy yourself a bit more time. But don't be fooled, because that pause also halts all updates, including non-critical improvements, and ultimately, it's just delaying what's already been decided for you. This might not come as a total shock to some, as back in January, Microsoft had already hinted that the 24H2 version was in an advanced stage of phase rollout confirming that all eligible Windows 11 Home and Pro Edition devices would receive the update eventually, and now, that time has come. So, if you're running any of those earlier versions and not protected by enterprise-level restrictions, the download will begin automatically. And while you can still manually check for the update by going into Settings, Windows Update, and clicking Check for Updates, chances are you won't have to, because it's coming to you whether you click or not. And here's the kicker. Many users have been avoiding this update specifically because of the bugs reported in earlier KB releases, like the notorious KB5058411, which caused everything from file explorer crashes to font issues and system instability. But now, Microsoft is pushing 24H2 to masses, placing the burden on users to troubleshoot post-installation issues instead of giving them a choice to opt in once stability is confirmed. And while Microsoft insists this process ensures devices are always secure and up-to-date, critics argue that it takes away user autonomy and forces changes that may not align with everyone's system performance needs or stability goals. So what can you really do? If your PC hasn't already started downloading 24H2, you can still use the pause feature under Windows Update to delay it temporarily, and you can adjust your active hours to avoid unwanted reboots. But remember... None of these options will stop the update forever. Eventually, Windows will apply the upgrade, and you'll be running 24H2 whether you prepare for it or not. For those comfortable taking the plunge early, you can trigger the install by heading to Settings, Windows Update, Check for Updates, and selecting Download and Install under the 2024 version prompt. But if you're not ready, this feels like Microsoft is forcing your hand, and it's a controversial move that's already raising eyebrows across the Windows community. For ongoing updates on this rollout, user experiences, and potential fixes for any problems that come with 24H2, make sure you're subscribed to Techverse, where we bring you the real story behind the updates, the bugs, and what you can do to stay ahead of the curve in the ever-changing world of Windows.